Dynamic spectrum sharing is a technique where LTE spectrum allocation is dynamically shared between 5G new radio and LTE users, depending on the load and traffic demand from the two technologies. The base station dynamically changes the spectrum allocation to use more of the spectrum for 5G or LTE. As a result, the split in the spectrum between LTE and 5G changes over time. Dynamic spectrum sharing enables the quick and cost-effective build-up of robust 5G services with broad coverage areas, using existing spectrum in mid- and low-band frequencies. All this is possible with just a software upgrade. Network capacity and achievable peak throughput by individual users decreases with DSS deployment. Both LTE and 5G systems transmit various control and reference channels, mainly in the downlink direction. Overhead from control channels increases in DSS because it requires the transmission of control channels for both 5G and LTE. The overhead can add up to several tens of percentage points of capacity. DSS is a new feature in mobile networks that can have a major impact on network operation. The functional and performance verification of DSS is critical to ensure that it does not have a negative impact on the end user experience. We here at Keysight can help you to test the DSS capability by providing an end-to-end -end test solution for testing DSS in the field and in the lab. At first, LTE and 5G DSS capable devices, one or more of both types, are connected to Keysight's NEMA outdoor test software. Then, all devices are connected to a DSS enabled network, camping on LTE and 5G cells. The two cells share the same spectrum via DSS. To ensure accurate monitoring of the resource allocations, there should be no live traffic in the network under test. Next, NEMA Outdoor scripts are configured to perform active tests with bulk data transfer, downlink, uplink, and ping. Exact transaction patterns depend on the test case. NEMO Analyze or NEMO Wind Catcher are then used to post-process the collected data and calculate the total capacity key performance indicators across all LTE and 5G devices. The following demo shows in detail how DSS measurements are post-processed in NEMO Wind Catcher. These figures illustrate that the DSS configuration has been received from the network. The DSS configuration received event and RRC connection reconfiguration message indicate that the reference signals have been offset in MR so that they don't interfere with LTE. Here you can see the areas where NR resource blocks are being transmitted in the low band channel. These test results show NR and LTE resource blocks when DSS is active, and these show NR and LTE throughput when DSS is active. With DSS, 5G network rollout is possible with just a software upgrade, which is not only cost effective, but also quicker than other methods. However, DSS overhead will reduce network capacity. The best way to ensure DSS fits the purpose is to perform field measurements comparing 5G with and without DSS. Keysight's NEMO field measurement and analytics solutions offer an end-to-end -end solution for DSS field and lab testing. Please contact us for more information.